What's up guys, I'm back and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about what I do to mount this so it's a nice solid fit where it's a nice solid bond and does not come off. A little trick that I'd seen someone else do that how they get these things to stand up. I've actually witnessed these things popping off on people. There we go. I've actually witnessed these things popping off on people, coming undone, coming unstuck right there. So I want to show you guys on what I do to make this stick on there and not come off, where you almost have to pry it off or heat it with a hair dryer just to get it off. So when you buy a GoPro, usually you'll get, when you get your GoPro, you usually have two types of mount. You'll have just a normal flat mount and then a curved mount. And if you can see, that's the difference between the flat and the curve. If whoever doesn't know, this works really well for mounting on boats, um, paddles. That's what I use if I'm putting it on a, a kayak or a paddle or something like that. I use the flat mount. The curve mount is what I use only for helmets. This is what I use exclusively for, for helmets. And if you can see, the curve mount has the beveled edges right there. They've actually tapered those edges off and it's got like a curve to it. So yeah, that's the mount you want to use for I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys on what I do to mount that to there. I want it to match something like that. And if you can kind of tell, you notice that when I mount a GoPro, I'm not dead center in the top of the head. I'd found out that when you mount, when you mount a GoPro, it's better to have it more up here on the front of the helmet, closer to the front, than instead of right on the top. When it's right on the top, you're way too high up. Yeah, you can see basically what I was talking about. I'm talking about the, the cameras more on the forward position. So I'm gonna show you guys on this helmet, and I realize I never put one on this helmet, so I don't use one a lot for play boating, and when I do, a lot of times I'll wear that helmet here lately, just because it has better better protection and I end up hitting my head more when I'm goofing so, off. Yeah, what I do, I, I'm finding the area, I think about right there. Hmm. I'm thinking about right there will look good. First thing I want to do, rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to get some rubbing alcohol and clean the surface good. So I'll get the rubbing alcohol. You want to make sure to clean that surface real good right there. While I'm at it, I might as well just clean the whole helmet. I don't think I've ever cleaned this helmet. This is the, and if you guys don't know, this is called the Shred Ready uh, Super Scrappy. I think it's what it's called, the Super Scrappy. It's, it's basically a plastic, like just a plastic helmet with foam on the inside. It does have, I think what they're calling the hog, the hands of God system. Not a big fan of Shred Ready. I will, I will admit that anybody that doesn't like concussions will have sweets on. Everybody else in the market will have something else on. Trust me. Trust me on that <laughs> when I say that. If you don't like concussions, get you a damn sweets helmet. They have foam that absorbs impact, but I'll go in a whole other story. So now that I've got the helmet nice and clean, so I cleaned the area, now what I'm going to do is get the mount ready. So there's two things you're going to need. Probably You're going to probably need a knife because these things are really hard to get off, that plastic. I'll sit here and I'll pick at it forever. So I'll get my knife and I'll just kind of like start it right there on that edge and then I just peel it off like that. Here's the key to these things. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get this surface and I need to get a cigarette lighter and what I want to do, I want to melt this stuff. I want to get it hot where it's almost bubbling. So I'm going to get this really warm where it's almost bubbling up. You can see it's kind of bubbling and smoking there. Trust me, what this is going to do, this is going to help melt it to the helmet. So now I want to find this location where I want it at. So I need to focus here. So what I'm going to really focus on doing this. So I want to be about, you got one shot at this. So get it right. Right about there. Now as soon as I mount it, I want to add pressure right away. This helmet has kind of a weird curve up there too, so it might not be 100% perfect. So 
almost going to melt that to the boat, to the uh, helmet. So when you do that, when using that cigarette lighter method like that, it almost melts it to it. Trust me, it, it will work. It works really well. So this one's been on there since the life of the helmet, and I've took a lot of hits. I've actually broken mounts here, and that, and this thing not come unstuck at all. So now. Oh, that's backwards. See, so I'm going to be kind of like that. There is how I mount a GoPro on a helmet. So you can kind of see it's on there so strong now that if I, if I hit that, I'll probably break that bracket and it won't come unstuck. So yeah, there you go. That's how that's how I mount one of those um, these GoPro adhesive mounts. That's what I do to mount on a on a helmet. Now I'm pretty damn sure that that's not coming off. I'd probably have to use a screwdriver to get it off already. That's how tough that stuff is. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.